Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Daisy new Banov map on your remote community private server. We're going to be using a Nitrado server hosting as an example, but all of this stuff applies to any other of any of the other um, server hosters as well. So as with most things on Daisy, the first thing you'll want to do is open up your Steam client and you'll want to find the Daisy Banoff mod in the daisy workshop i will put a link in the des description below the video so you can just click on that you'll also want to read the instructions down below about bun off and how to install it because by the time you come to watch this video some of these instructions may well have changed um, so have a read of that the other thing is that the mission files so all the xmls types xml events the xmls etc they're not included in the steam mod as i'm recording this video so the other link you'll need is the link to uh, kubelov's um, github where he has the mission files and what you want to do is you'll want to go there and you'll want to click on the little green button and download the zip okay and once you've downloaded the zip be bun off main you'll want to extract it and you'll end up with empty.banoff, and that has got all the um, mission files in. Um, and then the other thing you'll probably want to do is, if you're going to use this on your server, you probably want to go to um, the Banoff uh, PayPal page and drop the chap a couple of bucks, um, for at least so he can get a nice coffee, because um, he's put an awful lot of work into this mod. It looks great. Um, looks like it's going to be a really, really nice map as well. So once you've done those things, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to fire up the Daisy launcher, and this will then download the um, uh, download the Banov map into your Daisy folder on your on your computer. So this is basically if you were playing on a Banov server, that's what you need. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to upload this stuff to our remote server um, in order to have the Banov map. Um, so the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to fire up your FTP program. I'm using uh, FileZilla, use whichever one you want. Um, and you'll want to connect to your remote server. So as you can see here, so in this particular example, um, my remote server is on the right-hand side and my local stuff is on the left-hand side. If you're in your FTP program and you can't find the folder where you need to be, the DAISY uh, workshop folder where the uh, mods are kept, what you can do is if you go into the DAISY launcher and you click on the little arrow next to a mod, click on these little three dots and go open folder in Windows Explorer, agree not to change anything, um, at the top of the screen, you'll see uh, the, uh, the kind of the description of where it is. If you just left click somewhere, that gives you the, uh, the address and you can copy that. You can go to your FTP program, paste that into the local site bit, and that will take you there. So as you can see, we're in Daisy Workshop. So this is the, the, the file for Daisy on our computer that runs Daisy. Um, and this is where our, the mods are. So if we go, if we look down, we can see at Banoff is there, along with loads of others that I've got. So then what you want to do is, when, while you're in that screen, so you just make sure you're in the root directory of your server where your other mods are, and you would right click, and you would say upload, and that will then transfer that to your remote server. The next thing we want to do is we want to take the key from the Banoff mod, which is in this folder here, Banoff.bykey, and upload it into the key for the server. So go down on the right hand side to the keys folder. As you can see on the left, we've got the local server with the Banoff key and you would just left click that, right click, upload that, and that will then put the key in. So the key means that the uh, the server and the client, so the remote, remote server in the, in the internet, in the cloud, and the local client, local client, so your DAISY program running on your PC, they both know, right, we've got the same key, let's crack on, let's start running the server. As I said before though, the mission files aren't included in the mod. Often you'll have a uh, folder that says extras that, as you can see before, they're not there. So what we need to do is we just need to find them where you installed them on your um, local computer. So in my computer, I put them in the DAISY server um, folder. Um, if I go down to missions, and there's... There we go, empty.banov. And then on the right-hand side, in your local server, you'll, you'll want to go into the missions folder. So you can see you've got MP missions. There's all the different ones I've uploaded. We've got Chernerus, Enoch, which is Livonia, Deer Isle, Eska, Tekistan, and we've got Banov. So all we would do, just make sure we're clicked on MP missions on the right, uh, left-click on Banov, right-click, upload, and that will then 
upload all the mission files. Um, so we're kind of we, we're kind of getting there now uh, as to uh, th the files are kind of in place. But what we need to do now is we now need to tell our server, look, I want you to start. When you start, I want you to start with this mod, the Banov mod, and also I want you to start with this mission file, the empty dot Banov mission file. So to do that we need to go to our game server. So in this example, I'm going to be using uh, Nitrado. Um, now, my Nitrado PC server is set up on uh, for the advanced settings. But to start off with, if you go into the general settings and just scroll down, you'll see that you have additional mods. And the mod we want the server to start with is at Banov. Now, if you're ever not quite sure about your spelling and your typing, just remember, if you go back into that workshop uh, file where we were before, all you can what you can do is if you just left click on a um, file that's in there, um, it will come up with the name highlighted. So you can just simply copy that, click somewhere else, go back, and then you could paste that into there. So it's at Banoff. If you've got a number of mods, remember to have the semicolon, so the cursor with a dot above it. To, to put them in and generally you would have things like the the admin mods first so at cf at zombie admin and then then you would have at bun off afterwards all separated with with the semicolon so um what you probably want to do is stop your server while you're doing this actually so that and um, people aren't logging on and it all works so we've, we've said okay i want you to start with at ban off but the next thing we want to do is we want to tell our server to start with a particular um, mission file which is the empty dot ban off now on nitrado you, you need to do this in expert mode so you tick expert mode and that will bring up the expert settings so when we click on this um, and this is actually given us access to the server dz.config file um, so if we go to the top you can see you've got the host name so change this I've changed mine to 1b endurance PVE PC server don't worry I'll be changing those passwords after I've done this video and then if we scroll down what you're looking for is the temp the class missions so you can see it says template equals empty dot ban off now your one probably says um, offline dot churneris plus or something like that now again if you're not sure about your spelling what you can do is if you go into your uh, missions folder on your Daisy, uh, ooh, not there, where you've stored your um, Banoff files. So there we go, em uh, empty dot Banoff. So if we just left click that, left click it again, we can right click. We can just copy that, so we're not trying to spell anything. And then we can go back here, and then we could just carefully in between the quotation marks paste in empty dot ban off uh, actually one thing i should have said in order to save that you need to stop your nitrado server and then you'll get the option to save will appear down here dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. just give it a couple of seconds Server's just shutting down. I should have done this before I started, shouldn't I? And in just a few seconds, we'll see an option to save our changes just down here. There we go. So, so there we go. So now we can save changes. So we could click save. Configuration was saved successfully. And now we would just start the server and what I'd recommend you do is once it's started do a restart on your server as well um, and then the next time your players log on they're going to be logged on to ban off with a nice fresh character also remember that when you do swap your um, maps like this on a daisy nitrado server and other servers too the uh, the data from the other maps hasn't been deleted um, unless you do a reinstall on, on your entire server. So when you go back to um, using Chernerus Plus or Lavonia Enoch or any of the other ones, the uh, the DB file with the, um, sorry, is it the DB file? The file anyway that's got the data in uh, will still be there for the other maps. So people, although they won't be able to use their characters on that they've developed on other maps in Banov, when they when you do go back, their characters will still will still be there. Right, there we go. So hopefully you found that useful. If you have it, like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. If there's other mods and stuff you want tutorials on how to um, install on Daisy, then uh, just let me know.